i have a 14 years daughter now as a parent if we try to teach some basic disciplines to our children that time it happens like many of the times they don't listen in one go that is my question sir so if you can guide on that okay see as as parents your intentions are always good towards your own child but how you communicate matters suppose if you really when it we are asking about the emotions emotions part of the child so as long as you understand that the child's emotions are very spontaneous right and sometimes the child feels like you know for example ice cream okay the child wants to eat ice cream and as a parent you know that okay it is a rainy day and if, if the child eats ice cream then the child might get catch flu or cold so how do you communicate to the child you know if you say that okay i understand you have an option you know you can say that i understand you feel like eating an ice cream okay trust me i will buy you an ice cream tomorrow but today is the not the right time to eat but definitely tomorrow i'll buy for you there's absolutely no uh, denying in that so today is not the right time to eat so when you sp- speak that reasoning and then discipline then the child has uh, a reason why the parents are disciplining but sometimes the parents don't give the reason they straight away go into the discipline because the parents are frustrated and sometimes the child is frozen because they don't know what mistake they have done so as long as the child understands that okay so the the parents are doing for my good so even though they are little bit throwing tantrums in the beginning but later on it doesn't become a, an emotional a frozen emotion you know you don't need to shout at the child so that the child can listen you can simply tell the child i have taken my stance okay so you respect my decision and i'll respect your decision so without shouting also you can communicate and be firm and you can let the child throw the tantrums that's absolutely fine the child wants to cry let it cry the child wants to throw tantrums let it throw tantrums so you are giving this free space so for a certain while the child will cry and after that it will understand okay so better i listen to my parents or else nothing is going in my way so i better listen to the parents and then after crying for some time the child might come okay fine then so tomorrow i'll get an ice cream right so then the child will come down tone down its own tantrums so the most important part as a parent is number one you should always treat the children as adults so that is the most important point because they the soul might be an evolved soul but the body is not grown up so always treat the child as an adult and give them the due respect so that is sufficient okay and the disciplining part is perfect there is nothing wrong with disciplining but how you discipline matters are you disciplining with respect if you discipline with respect that is fine that is good i wanted to ask from my childhood uh, we have been trained that we do some sanskar on the child we teach them some discipline but okay. you said uh, we are uh, disturbing they are innocent and we try to put something into them but is it not necessary to discipline the children <laughs> <laughs> because we have been taught like that that sanskar you should give them good sanskar yes exactly you got the answer you are the victim of your own past okay you can give only what you have so you have lost the paradise when you are a child so only you can give that what you are only you can give that to your children so when you work on your ego when you work on your ego and when you are authentic as a parent then you appreciate the authenticity of the child so you you will not condition them you will not you will not put them into a situation where they have to force they are forced to do certain things you will be very sensitive to them you will guide them but you will not impose anything on them that is the right spiritual parenting the spiritual parenting means the parents themselves become enlightened first the parents themselves work on all their layers of egos and fears and judgments of the guilt when the parents are working on themselves then they 
know how to be a spiritual parent then they will not interfere in the child because they know the child is perfect the child is perfect as it is yes sometimes the child might go and touch fire the parent should interfere only in emergencies not in everyday affairs that is a spiritual parenting spiritual parenting means the parents themselves they work on themselves so that is the greatest gift you can give it to your child when you are authentic that is the greatest gift you can give it to your child mm-hmm.